Hey everyone, so in this problem we're going to integrate this. So uh, as it is now, we can't really integrate this. So the idea is to first break this up and simplify. You know you can do that whenever the bottom is a monomial. So mono means one, so you have one thing. So whenever it's a monomial, you can break it up, write everything as x to a power, and then you can integrate. So let's do it. So you have x over the square root of x, and we can write the square root of x as x to the one half. Don't forget the integral sign, really important to write it. Plus, and then a over x to the one half, and then, and then dx. Okay, it's just this over this, plus, and then this over this. And now we're ready to uh, simplify this. There's a one here. You can just subtract the exponents. One minus one half is one half, okay? And then here you can bring this guy upstairs and it becomes negative. So plus ax to the negative one half dx. And now everything is x to a power, so we're ready to use the power rule, right? So all we do is add 1 to all of the exponents and then divide by that number. So like say it was x squared, you would just add 1, so you would get x cubed over 3, and you would put a plus c. Just add 1 and divide by the result. So here, 1 half plus 1, that's 3 halves, right? Because it's really 1 half plus 1, which is 2 halves, is 3 halves. So 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. So we get x to the 3 halves, and then you drop the integral sign, right? Then you divide by 3 halves, but instead of dividing by 3 halves, you can multiply by the reciprocal, okay, plus 8. Here you want to add 1 again, right? So negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half. And then when we divide by 1 half, we really multiply by 2, so 2. And don't forget the plus c. And the final answer, I guess, would be, I'll write it up here, would be 2 thirds x to the 3 halves, and then, and then 16 x to the 1 half, and then plus c. And that would be it, right? 2 times 8 is 16. I hope that made some sense.